What's up fam, The Real Rahim here. Welcome and great to have you guys here for another tutorial episode because today's episode you're gonna learn how setting up your camera angle will decide how fast your drone will fly. Now, roll the intro. Now before we get into the manual mode settings, something to know about normal and sport mode is that your camera angle is always stabilized on one axis and it's not about the um, roll stabilization, it's the pitch stabilization meaning to say regardless of um, when you're picking up speed by pushing forward, your drone will actually be pitching forward. Uh, this is what you don't see because the image in your goggles is always level. So if you were to pitch forward in sport mode, you'll get a maximum of up to 25 kilometers an hour. So how do you actually get up to that 90 kilometers an hour that DJI has claimed that this drone is capable of doing? There may be aviation laws that may limit how fast a drone can fly, so do abide by the rules of your country. This is going to be in full manual, you'll have to switch off the attitude limit. Now what attitude limit does is actually it will limit how much the drone can pitch forward. Um, you'll need to switch it off in order to be able to pitch it harder in order to go faster. Um, anyways, the attitude limit is a safety feature to prevent you from going into a crazy flip. Now to understand what I'm talking about, go and watch this episode right up here so that you'll have a better understanding of how manual mode works uh, so that you don't crash on your first go. Okay, so here's some theory about picking up speed in manual mode. Take note that uh, the arrows will represent the camera angle and it's now set at zero. So if you had lifted your drone and it's hovering in place, um, all you needed to do would be to maintain the or control the throttle in order not to be bobbing up and down. In order to move forward and start gaining in speed, you'll have to pitch the drone forward. Alright? So here's the thing to note, in manual mode, pitching the drone forward is just gonna be a nudge of the sticks okay so you won't need to hold the sticks there because if you hold the sticks there the drone will start continuing its pitch and it will eventually go into a crazy spin so all you need to do is pitch forward and the drone will start moving along but here's the thing as you are moving forward you will have to control the throttle because on the immediate pitch the drone is gonna start to dip so by controlling the throttle maintains the the forward flight um, take it easy because at the on start you're gonna start bobbing up and down up and down as you go along now as you're moving along in manual mode there's no self leveling here so if you needed to slow down the drone um, you'll need to actually manually go and pull back the drone and it will start slowing down so now we know that in order to have a forward flight you'll need to pitch forward give it some throttle and control that throttle so your drone doesn't bob along so if you wanted to go a lot more faster, it's kind of the same. It's just that you'll have to pitch a lot more. But take note here is that once you give it a very steep pitch angle, look at your camera, you will be facing the ground, right? So knowing this, traditional FPV pilots already set our camera angles at the on start because it's fixed. There's no um, adjusting it in mid-air. So for the DJI FPV drone, it lets you adjust the camera angle on the fly. But the principles are still the same you'd still want to adjust it according to the scene that you're taking and what's the final outcome of the footage. Now, if you're just getting started, a good camera angle is going to be about 20 degrees. That's going to be a very light cruise and at the same time, will get you comfortable to rock the drone back and forth to pick up speed and then to also slow it down. Now, the thing here is that if you have a wide field of view, you'll still be able to see, uh, see the ground uh, as you are slowing the drone down. For smooth cruising speeds of up to 40 km an hour, you may want to raise the camera angle to about 35 degrees. This is about 35 degrees. So this lets me um, have a smooth cruise. Um, at the same time, I'll still be able to see some of the ground if I were to slow down the drone. So now let's go to the extreme of about 61 degrees. If I'm not wrong, the camera is capable of going. See that the drone is really pitched forward. Um, you will go fast. You will reach your top speed. But here's the deal, the moment you start slowing the drone down, all you're gonna see is the sky. Try imagine looking up and then trying to sit down on your chair. It's not impossible, but it's very challenging. Okay, so this is the effect of when you have your camera angle too high up, you will have the top speed, but it will be practically impossible to handle the drone at slower flights. Now, some of you are gonna tell me that, hey, Rahim, I can already achieve my top speed at 10 degree angle. Yes, of course it's possible, but here's the thing. Uh, we're here to create cinematic scenes. 
if you're at a 10 degree angle and you're flying at your top speed but all you see is the ground then what's the point isn't it so what we want to aim here is a speedy cinematic scene and you'll still be able to see what's ahead and react to it it is highly not recommended that you fly at this kind of camera angle unless you are very familiar with manual or acro flight now check out my traditional fpv drone i don't even have the camera angle set up anywhere above 25 degrees the reason for that because i always want to be able to see the ground even though I'm slowing the drone down, okay, pitching the drone up and slowing it down. There wouldn't be a need really to go and put a camera angle so steep that you can't even handle the drone at slower speeds. Here's another thing about having the drone at such steep camera angles is that you will lose throttle authority. Meaning to say, if you were to uh, pump the throttle, right, your drone will not rise okay instead it will move forward of course that's the job you want it to do right you want to reach your top speed but there will be times that you'd want to avoid a situation that you're too close to the ground throttling is not going to raise the drone here's a scene that i wanted to create sweeping across planes and in this situation it's across the water surface okay here's a video of me uh, doing a long range test if you want to watch the full video but let me just describe it to you so i have my camera set um at an angle so that as I'm um, cruising across the water surface I want a cinematic scene so I'll keep the drone as close to the ground as possible uh, I mean water surface right as possible I needed to know that if I was too close and I needed to bail I will have that authority to just bleep the throttle and the drone will rise instead of moving forward okay because at too much a steep angle you may actually drive it into the ground further so um, that's the authority that i want to maintain and i would have thought about that even before i set my drone off uh, to do whatever task you needed to do now of course you would say that right why not just pitch the drone backwards right so let's say I, I needed to adjust its height why not just pitch the drone backwards and bleep the throttle so that it will rise up but the thing here is in that scene I wanted a continuous sweeping scene meaning to say the horizon was maintained it was gonna be a one take I did not want a scene that I'm facing up facing down facing up facing down so that's one of the considerations that you'll have to take uh, before you set your drone off um, to capture such a scene all right that's gonna wrap it up for this episode I hope I've covered enough that now you understand that how your camera angle will affect the speed at how fast you fly um, you can always adjust it on the go but it's always preferred that you think about your scene before you even set out to fly now i'm going to cover about cinematics in future episodes so do stay tuned well anyways that's all i have if you've liked this video do give it a thumbs up now if you've not subscribed there's more fpv dji fpv and also line of sight episodes coming up so do subscribe down below now if you want to ask me any questions do chat with me in the comment section and pilots as always i'll see you in the skies <laughs>